Hi everyone, this is a quick tip video on how to do manual alignment in either CR Studio or JM Studio. Depending which software you're using, technically they're both the same, so it's going to work in both cases. Anyway, let's get into it. Here I have a scan of a little statue, but we can see there's some issues. So what's happened is I've done the automatic alignment and it's done a pretty good job, but it looks like there are a couple of mismatches. First thing I like to do is just hide the visibility on all my layers by clicking on the little eye icon, except for the first one and then going through each one and just turning them back on to find which ones are the problem. So we click on table scan one, seems fine. Three, seems fine. Five, seems fine. Six, okay, obviously we have an issue of six. And seven, again, we have an issue of seven. The next thing I'll do is hide the visibility on the three that were fine, except for my table scan one. Reason being is I always like to have a base model that is kind of like what everything aligns to. And to make things simple, I'm just gonna make that my first layer. So that's table scan one is like my base mesh. Everything aligns to that point. So I can hide two, three, and five and leave six and seven. I'm going to hide seven as well because I always just wanna work with two layers just to simplify things and not make things confusing. I have table scan one and table scan six. Again, to make things a little simple for myself, I'm going to go over to here and enable transform operator and also make sure my table scan six. What I'm gonna do is move it out of the way a bit and then sort of rotate the alignment just so it helps me visualize things a bit more. Making sure the enable transform form is op uh, selected, hold down alt middle mouse and just move this out of the way. And then again, hold down alt left click and just kind of rotate that around until it's roughly in the same spot or the correct spot. Doesn't have to be exact. It just makes it a little easier to align things in the next step. Next, we disable the transform operator just to make sure we don't accidentally move things. And we go over to the align tab. And here we can select the layer we want to assign everything to. It's a little weird with the wording. Uh, it says select the model to align and then drag one item to align. I think it should say select the model to align to which in our case is going to be table scan one. We always pick something as the base that everything goes to. So table scan one is going to drag into this position. And the next stage is we click on the plus icon and that's going to add three references. With these references, you wanna work around the model in kind of a triangle fashion. So you might pick a point here, here and here. So you kind of have this triangle that roughly covers the body of the model you're trying to align. You don't want to pick three things right next to each other because it's not giving it enough information to align things to. And you don't have to pick the points specifically like 100% accurate between the two layers. Just close enough. It'll figure out the rest. It's pretty smart. So we're going to pick on our first reference and we're going to just pick something on the front here. So you right click and you can see it's dropped. It's kind of picked some weird colors, so it's not that great, but it's picked, I've selected the front here and I'm going to roughly select the front on the other layer. Now we pick the second reference. We're going to pick somewhere near the front hoof and we're going to pick somewhere near the front hoof. So you're just picking and matching. And then the third point, we want it to be probably say the tail and the top of the tail. So we got this kind of one, two, three triangle formation. All that's left to do now is click on align and give us some time to think, which it should do pretty quickly, depending on your specifications. There we are. We can see that is pretty good. And if we just turn off the layer and bring it back on, we can see it's, it's done a pretty good job. So that's six done. We're going to repeat the process for table scan seven. And I'll go through this a bit quicker this time. Enable transform operator, hold down alt, making sure our layer is selected that we're moving. Hold down Alt, middle mouse, move out of the way. Hold down Alt, left mouse, and just kind of, this can be a little tricky sometimes, but just kind of get it roughly the right spot. Disable transform operator, go back to the align tab, making sure our table scan one is the base layer it's moving our layers to. Click on the plus icon, our first reference point. We're just gonna do the same three points because it worked so well on the first time. So on the front of the model, on the front of the model. Just making sure it is picked correctly. Front leg and the front leg. And then top of the tail, uh, top of the tail. Click the line, let it do its thing. And it's done. So we'll just hide that on and off just to check and it looks pretty good. So we can go through and turn all these back on 
and we can see it's looking pretty good now. It does look rough because it hasn't gone into the next stage of processing and it's you know just rough mesh, it's not a clean model yet, but that is all aligned correctly, which will help the processing stage. So that's it for this video. It's just a quick tip on how to do manual alignment in the CR Studio software and JM Studio software. If you found this informative, then please like the video and subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.